Before we get into the video, please remember to subscribe, turn the notification button on, please do like, comment, share and please follow me on my social media handles. So as you can see, I'm making that Ghanaian chili sauce which can serve as an accompaniment and for most of your meals at home. This is the simplest version. Let's get straight into the ingredients. So I've got here onions, garlic, ginger. I'll be leaving the exact amount I use in all the ingredients in the description box below. So over here I've got some dried rosemary, I've got a stock cube, star anise, bay leaves, one cinnamon stick, some chili powder, some salt, some grains of salim and some cloves in there. I've got some cumin seeds or we call it in tree. I've got some vegetable um, stock powder, I've got some curry powder, some white powder and black powder. Some grinded herrings, some grinded shrimps. You can find this in the African market. Tomato concentrate and I'll be using olive oil. So I've um, diced my onions and my ginger and garlic and I'll be blending this all together you can see I have not um, cut all the onions and the ginger and the garlic because not um, all of them will fit in the uh, blender and I'm adding three tablespoons of the tomato concentrates to blend mm -hmm. really a fast cry and you have to eat it with your hands and you have to eat it with your hands and you have to eat it with your hands and you have to eat it with yes we don't want to um, waste too much time in making this shito so uh, we've added the tomatoes to blend together with the onions and garlic and this is the finished result after blending them together I'll be adding some olive oil I'm not going to add a lot as you can see just because huh, shito splashes a lot yes it will splash everywhere and my secret of not making it splash too much everywhere is by adding the oil gradually whilst I cook the shito yes that's my secret so this is the second batch of the onion the garlic and the ginger and with this I added the cumin seeds the star anise the grain of um, saline and the cloves yes all of those spices um, have been embedded in this um, large batch of the blended onions and garlic and ginger so I'm gonna stir everything together to make sure they are uniform yes I haven't added any more um, oil so um, I'll be leaving this to boil for 10 minutes so after 10 minutes I would open it and then add the bay leaves to it and stir it once again now with the shito the bottom of the pan can bend so easily so you need to make sure your um, heat is actually on low to medium heat and um, you need to continue stirring it and I came back to check on it after 40 minutes and I'll be adding my star anise down when stirring your your sauce make sure you don't take the spoon too much down the bottom um, of the pan because you, you might be bringing up some uh, burnt stuff and it's going to make your sauce taste bitter I'll leave it on the fire for 10 minutes so after 10 minutes I'm going to add my cinnamon stick as you can see and uh, the water is uh, gradually reducing that's what we want to see yes so that's my cinnamon and it's going in there Mm. I'm gonna leave this again to boil for an additional 30 minutes 
make sure um, you continue checking on your sauce and stir it because you don't want it to get uh, bent underneath so I left it without the lid now even though it's splashing everywhere just because I don't want um, you know covering it would let the stew or the sauce retain some more water and with a uh, shito sauce you need to make sure um, all the water has been absorbed as you can see there's some water in there so, uh, so that it can last um, longer yes so just in case you realize that uh, the bottom of your pan is bent just pour it in another saucepan and continue making your shito so I'll be adding some more of the oil because I told you in the beginning that I'll be adding it along um, the way while um, I made the shit off so that it doesn't splash everywhere at this moment the uh, most of the um, water from the sauce has reduced as you can see so that's why I added all my oil this oil is not enough yes shito actually <laughs> um absorbs a lot of oil so i'll be adding more later on so after an additional 30 minutes as you can see there is literally no water in the sauce so i can now add my um dried rosemary spice and then stir it i'll be adding all the spices now so that's the um, curry powder The white pepper now, the black pepper, and I'm going to stir the all together. And I'm adding my ground chili now. Now later on, I realized the chili wasn't enough, so I'm, I'll be adding some more. Yes, this was the, um, the mild uh, type of chili, and I wanted it a little bit, you know, <laughs> spicier. After about five minutes, I'm adding the grind herrings. Make sure you stir everything very well together after adding this. And make sure your um, your heat or fire is not actually on too much of a um, high heat. If not, it's going to get burnt. Too much burnt at the bottom of your pan. So I've added the shrimp powder as well. And I'm going to mix this together very well. If you realize as i said before your the bottom of your pan is um, you know bent just pour it into another saucepan and continue making your shito in other enough for your um, shito to taste you know bitter so i'll be adding my salt now the vegetable um, stock goes in as well and i'll make sure i stir it all together very well the stock cube as well goes in now and it's all the continuous <laughs> stirring and stirring to make sure um, the spices you know get mixed very well in the sauce so as I told you I added some more um, chili powder flakes because I wanted it to be um, spicier and you know hotter than I originally uh, wanted it to be yes so you can add the uh, chili hot chili powder according to your taste and preference so I'll mix it all together very well and continue stirring it on the fire till it becomes more darker um, I added some more oil about 500 ml I'm sorry the camera um, didn't capture this and you want to use you know a healthy oil because this kind of sauce absorbs a lot of oil and keep stirring your shit off till it turns and you know dark without it getting burnt yeah without it getting burnt so that is my shit off my kitchen smells so delicious not only my kitchen oh i think the whole neighborhood is smelling of this 
shito the aroma has traveled everywhere <laughs> you can store this in a container with a lid on and preserve it for a while just make sure the oil is you know a lot on the uh, surface thank you so much for watching bye bye